Today's evening devotional. Table in the wilderness. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Psalm chapter 33 verses 18 and 19. Like the Savior of mankind, of whom he was a type, Elisha and his ministry among men combined the work of healing with that of teaching. Faithfully, untiringly, throughout his long and effective labors, Elisha endeavored to foster and advance the important educational work carried on by the schools of the prophets. It was on the occasion of one of his visits to the school established at Gilgal that he healed the poisoned pottage. At Gilgal, also, while the dearth was still in the land, Elisha fed 100 men with the present brought to him by a man from Baal Shalisha, bread of the first fruits, 20 loaves of barley, and full ears of corn in the husk thereof. What condescension it was on the part of Christ, through his messenger, to work this miracle to satisfy hunger. Again and again since that time, Though not always in so marked and perceptible a manner, has the Lord Jesus worked to supply human need. It is the grace of God on the small portion that makes it all sufficient. God's hand can multiply it a hundredfold. From his resources he can spread a table in the wilderness. By the touch of his hand he can increase the scanty provision and make it sufficient for all. It was his power that increased the loaves and corn in the hands of the sons of the prophets. When the Lord gives a work to be done, let not men stop to inquire into the reasonableness of the command or the probable result of their efforts to obey. The supply in their hands may seem to fall short of the need to be filled, but in the hands of the Lord it will prove more than sufficient. The servitor set it before them, and they did eat and left thereof, according to the word of the Lord. The gift brought to him with thanksgiving and with prayer for his blessing, he will multiply as he multiplied the food given to the sons of the prophets and to the weary multitude.